Hey there. Hello everybody, you are tuned into Now My name is Nell. And my name is Leo. Today we're actually going to be speaking about the increase in the repo rate, which ultimately had an effect on the prime lending rate. I mean, I remember just a few months ago, everybody was saying that the interest rates are at their all-time lowest buy a property right now. So does this mean we should stop buying properties or does this mean that we should be scared when it comes to buying properties? I mean, that was the main selling point of why people should actually buy into properties. But before we actually speak about the increase, let's first touch on what do these two things mean? So now, do you want to actually speak about the repo rate? What is the repo rate? So when we're talking about your repo rate, we're talking about the rate at which your reserve bank loans your commercial banks and that's when it actually gets to you so when you are actually applying for a home loan you're not applying straight to the reserve bank it is via the commercial banks and now when you're looking at your prime lending rate this is the rate at which commercial banks actually lend us uh, consumers so now how we look at it right is a three-part way so it starts at the reserve bank so say for instance if bank abc has a problem and now they need to actually borrow money from somewhere right the bank or actually bank apc will actually borrow that money from the repo rate from the reserve bank thereafter the apc bank will be the one that will actually borrow us as consumers the particular loan so now how does this have an effect on us as property investors because i know with property investing two months back right it hasn't been that far two months back estate agents were saying that right now it's the best time to buy properties because interest rates are at the all-time lowest so now what does this mean when it has actually increased by 0.25 percent the increase will actually hit on the interest that i borrowed so basically what we're saying is that it has a direct impact towards how much i'll be paying on a monthly basis so this is where as a property investor when it comes to understanding the repo rate there's so many tools that one can use I know that there's also Uber, the Uber app, whereby you can download it and really understand that how much was I paying before and how much am I paying now. I know that especially your accountants or the people that are very fussy when it comes to numbers, they'll be like, why am I paying the bank more? Do not take your phone out end of the month and call them and be like, you took away an extra 200 bucks, what is happening? It's because of what the terms that you actually agreed on because I know that there is actually an option whereby it's a flat rate whereby you're not affected if it does increase or decrease or you're actually going for the option whereby you know what if it decreases I'm taking the fruits however if it increases I'm also on that ride so it's up to the option that you took initially before the, you signed the bond I want to bring something to your attention a lot of people get their home loan and now they're actually being promised or being told that they need to actually pay 8% on the interest of the particular property. And now people are asking us that, guys, isn't the prime lending rate 7,25%? Why am I actually getting 8%? Something that I would like to actually explain is that the banks actually look at how much of a risk are you. If you are a huge risk, then chances are your interest rates are going to be higher than what the prime lending rate is however if you are the best customer and now uh, you do not have any faults best customer going back to your credit if your credit score is actually on top and it's excellent banks will be actually fighting to do business with you therefore they will actually give you at prime lending rate however if your credit score isn't really that good they might say prime lending rate plus an extra amount of uh, percentages so now let's look at the numbers behind this right how does this actually affect you let's look at two scenarios right the first scenario is that you bought your property while the interest rate was at seven percent and now someone else bought the the property whilst the interest rate is at 7.25 percent and someone might be saying that ah comma two five percent guys come on that's not much let's look at the difference right say for instance you're buying a property that's worth one million so you bought this property that's worth one million and your interest rate is at seven percent and now you are actually going to be loaning this property for the next 20 years you don't put in any deposit normally down how much would you actually be paying on a monthly basis that would be seven thousand seven hundred and fifty two comma ninety nine cents so now let's look at right now if the interest rate is at zero comma twenty five percent more right now you are paying seven thousand nine hundred and three comma seventy six cents 
So now that's a difference of 151,76 cents, right? So now let's look at it in a period of a year. So that amount multiplied by 12 and you get to... Let's look at it from a 20-year perspective. Multiply that by 20. That means that you are actually losing or saving. So now with property investing, this actually affects you directly, not only on the home loan side, however, it also affects you on your credit card side. So now the more credit you're actually taking, it's becoming actually more expensive for you to actually take out that credit. Hence, we're always saying that when you do buy a property, make sure that your numbers actually work at worst case scenario. If they don't work at worst case scenario, you will literally be speculating. So the next time someone says that buy a property right now because the interest rates are low, just raise your eyebrows on them. <laughs> so what we always say, what we always say is that let interest rate be a bonus towards the deal being good. So you bought the deal because of X, Y, Z and interest rate might have been another addition towards it. That's why we buy properties. I know that with today's topic is quite technical. We're making sure that we simplify it as much as possible because even when we're planning this content, we're like, how can we say this in its simplest form? So now we know that interest rate, whether you like it or not, or whether you are aware of it or not, it does in fact impact you as a property investor every month, every year for the next 20 years. So it's better that you just be aware of it. What I'd really like to speak about is the, the, the importance the importance of understanding the interest rates because what other people do is that they look at the different banks and then they're looking at it wow with bank abc they're charging less than bank cyz and then they want to specifically go to that bank thinking that that is the situation for them and they'll be getting that interest rate so that is not the case the strategic person here will be your bond originator. So as you can see in property investing, there's so many linkages whereby you as the individual cannot just jump to the central bank and just get 3.5 and be excited about that. You can't do that. Even with the banks, you can actually get a bond originator. There's actually two options. Option number one, you can go straight to your local bank and hope that they give you a hope that they give you a loan however if you have been with us throughout the journey i mean our bond originator which i did actually say this in front of everybody that i got rejected by my bank that was painful she laid it all out she laid it all out because i was thinking that it's an inside thing you know it's three of us it's myself Lego and Bunja. but now she did actually let everybody who was at the mid-rent conference know that i was rejected by my bank we went to another bank that other bank accepted me then she went back to my bank and i was like haha and then my bank was like sure let's actually reevaluate the whole system so there is no actually one formula fits all when it actually comes with this because even the banks themselves have their own formulas so us right here can be sitting discussing interest rate they know specifically that level they're actually going to charge them so much Myself, I'll be charged so much. And this is not even based on how much am I earning. This is based on so many factors. They look at affordability. They look at your credit checks. They look at the expenses that you're actually having on a monthly basis. They look at your credit history. There's so many things that actually contribute towards them actually deciding that, you know what, we are actually happy with this amount. And at the end of the day, it goes back to having a power team. So if you would actually like us to be part of your power team, and we can be discussing this or adding value in terms of linking you with someone who's relevant in whatever field. Do not hesitate to actually hit the link below Calendly and let's add, let us discuss more what property investing is or let's hook you or let's link you up with the relevant people to assist you in your journey. Really excited about next week, right? Next week is our final event for the year, right? So make sure that you actually book your ticket. If you haven't booked your ticket, I think we left with one or two seats. Uh, that's what I was about to say. I was like, oh, Lebo, wait a minute. <laughs> I hope, I really hope that by the time this actually gets out, you still have one or two seats that are actually available. So make sure that you do get your seat right now. If push comes to shove, just go to the website right now. Check if we are fully booked or not. And if not, make sure that you are buying that particular top ticket because i'm sure rest assured by the time you actually see this there'll only be one ticket left so make sure that you do purchase your ticket as soon as possible i mean for me i would like to give so much gratitude to people i hope we're going to do that <laughs> yeah,
the journey has not been easy. Just like to say so much gratitude. I mean, we went across South Africa. We went to Cape Town. We went to Midrand. We hosted in Bryanston. Going back to Midrand. It's been so amazing, man. It's been so amazing, and thank you so much for believing in the vision. Next year, what we do want to do is that we want to actually host more, double if possible. With that being said, why should you be attending our events? Is that we want to put a spin towards how events are done. We want to actually make sure that our team is actually there. We want to give you our full experiences in this journey, so that by the time that it comes, you starting to invest, you already have a team that you trust. You already have, you learned from our mistakes. This is what we always say. This is what we always say to our clients that imagine right now we are laughing at X mistakes that we made, but at that time it gave us gray hair. So, I mean, that's the, that, that's the full experience that you are getting as a client. And I really hope that you do take this call and join us in our venture. Noah, sign out.